Libra, readings. I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 1st through the 7th. I hope you guys are having an amazing transition from 2023 to 2024. Let's get straight into your love reading. What's going on with Libra within the proximity of January 1st through the 7th? Libra, before we begin, I wish to invite you to my other channel, which consists of some amazing adventures. All right, check it out. The link is in the description. Libra, what's going on with you? First card out of the deck, the Three of Swords. <clears throat> Man, that's frictional to say the least. I could be dealing with the earth sign, ladies and gentlemen. Nevertheless, I feel someone here is blocked off. This could be you. This could be the person you're dealing with. But I feel someone here is invulnerable. All right. But it's that, that's completely understandable. When there is a serious heartbreak, you can't expect someone to just be vulnerable. You know what I mean? Open and vulnerable. No. Where I see you, where I see you is working on yourself, working on your mind, working on your very life, essentially. All right. I see you putting forth effort and trying to seek some sort of balance. <clears throat> Libra, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I feel that you went cold on someone. You went cold on someone. I feel that someone hurt you. And um, there's this massive energy of detachment. All right. I feel that emotionally you are shut off. You are cold. The person that you're dealing with, <clears throat> this individual is still curious about you. This individual is spying on you. In fact, the majority of you may, in fact, be cross watchers watching this video not that there's anything wrong with that however <clears throat> libra you got some people that are or you got an individual that is that is curious about you all right and they may be coming forth with expressing some sort of offer toward you this is interesting the ace of coins now help me understand this individual here whomever it is that libra is <clears throat> dealing with in their love life <clears throat> appearing as the page of swords <clears throat> what's going on with this individual one more shuffle all right oh wow interesting this individual libra to be honest they're in the they're in the midst of uncertainty essentially it's like they are well established in their own singlehood, independence, okay? However, they still see you as, they still have this inclination to have a good connection with you, to, to come forth and see eye to eye, all right? That's what I'm seeing here. But you're dealing with a fucking, I'm not going to call him a child, but again, you're dealing with someone that doesn't really know what it is that they want. This individual is lacking conviction, all right? in regards to <clears throat> to what they want with you wow but look look now that this popped up i'm getting the sense that this individual is not necessarily toying with you all right they do have an inclination a romantic interest in you however there's something here that is hindering on them that is hindering them and this can very much be trauma this can be past hurts this could be insecurities something toxic that they have within themselves which i feel is unrelated to you is hindering them from really committing to you know a motion or a movement toward you all right <clears throat> that's what i'm saying here now how is Libra feeling towards this individual? Fuck. Well, clearly, you're not too happy. Clearly, you're not too happy, ladies and gentlemen. Silence. Silence. Look, Libra, I see there's a lot of incommunication. And more so grievance. So I see Libra grieving the situation or at least seeing the situation as a loss. Okay. Seeing the negatives that have ensued within the relationship. There's still a potential. You may in fact know that this individual still has interest in you. This individual may have been attempting to communicate with you or making an attempt to interact with you. 
However, you you don't you, you you don't see that. You are choosing to see the negatives, all right. And doing so is overburdening you. It's putting you in a place where you may feel oppressed by your own feelings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't blame you. What, what you're doing is absolutely normal, ladies and gentlemen. There is not there, there isn't a who's to say you're doing it wrong. You should do this. You know, no. I'm the last person to tell you what to do. All right, I'm simply conveying messages that are coming through. That's it. Here and there, I will in, in insert my you know my opinion if I have a valid one. Otherwise, I'm just reading. Okay, uh, I'm not trying to devise any message here or anything. I'm simply just reading the formulas and conveying them to you. All right. Now, this is a, this most certainly is divination, and and I do give a form of prayer before pursuing this right for for guidance to bring guidance to you guys now <clears throat> libra i see you very hurt i see you very hurt to say the least all right <clears throat> i see you very hurt and due to that you're behaving the way you are done deal you closed off you're shut off i don't see you open to giving of your heart to this individual flat out all right this is what's crazy Get the restrictions. What is this? There's something coming toward you. All right. There's uh, an opportunity for something new. I'm not sure what this is. <clears throat> All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Someone here is, is making an advancement. In fact, I see that you have multiple suitors. All right. Two different individuals here. You may you may be dealing with more than one individual, Libra. All right. And um, I feel that you're gonna be coming forth, or, or you, they're gonna, you're gonna have options. Is what I'm seeing here. You're going to have options. It's like you have two people that are interested that are making advancements towards you. All right. But I see you just in the midst of darkness, like being undecisive, uh, unclear when it comes down to your love life. Straight up. All right. <clears throat> now, why is the queen of pentacles in the challenge position? Yes, Libra, look, despite the mist of, you know, despite the, the heavy mist and cloudiness of your emotional turbulence, I do still see that there's a desire within you to reconcile, to transform this and, um, and align your love life with something else, you know, with, with something other than what it is right now. Okay, obviously, obviously, but this is more so inclined towards a relationship. I'm not sure if it's the same individual that put you here or if it's someone else because I'm seeing so many court cards, guys. I really get the sense that you have more than one suitor. All right, but I'm getting, uh, <clears throat> getting this energy. It could be a Leo individual. It could be an Aries. It could be a Sagittarius. Um, a lot of fire energy is really what I'm getting here that that um you have this propensity to move toward but <clears throat> you're not you're not all right that's what i'm seeing here that's what's in the challenge position it's like you have you have a desire here that you're not pursuing that's really what, what i'm seeing all right now what's going to ensue here from all this better yet scratch that what is the best thing that libra can align themselves with have the best outcome possible for themselves at this time. Yeah, Libra, you got to take care of yourself. You got to take care of yourself. Look, <clears throat> right now, your emotions are so turbulent that it behooves you to take some serious action toward harmonizing your own self. Right now is not a time. Right now is not a time to venture into romantic endeavors. All right, you, you're in this very static, or not static, but frictional energy. 
it, it, I can't find a better word than depressive, okay? It's very frictional, it's very heavy, it's very negative, all right? And like I say, I, I like I keep reiterating, I completely understand you. You're undergoing something difficult, and, and it's kind of hard to remain pessimistic or optimistic in these moments in life, right? But we got to strive to do it. You're going to do it regardless. It's only a matter of time. So it's best that you attack this tenaciously, take action towards, you know, cutting out what doesn't belong in your life so that you may align yourself with inner balance. Then you can really open yourself to whatever opportunities you want. All right. But right now is not a time to cultivate opportunities and love. I'm telling you straight up. That's what I'm saying here. You're not in the position. And <clears throat> if you are, if you are to put yourself in a position to allowing these opportunities to come towards you, Libra, I, I see you repulsing them. I see you repulsing them. All right. Even relationships that you're open to. It's like there's going to be some sort of um, <sighs> compelling force that is going to make you block this out. All right, I, this time calls for inner harmony, Libra. That's what I got for you, straight up. This time calls for inner harmony. It behooves you, it, be, it utterly behooves you to just isolate yourself. You already are. You're, you aren't giving of your heart. All right, you aren't giving of your heart and you aren't open to receiving. So why even put yourself in opportunities to allow these scenarios to take place when you're going to block them out? Because that's what I see happening. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the message for you this week, straight up self-care, ladies and gentlemen. Look, you lose nothing by isolating yourself. Disconnect from social media. Disconnect from your friends. Disconnect from everything. Spend some alone time. Spend alone time with your family. Spend alone time with those that love you unconditionally. Friends, family, whatever it may be. You know, enjoy the simple things in life. And that may, in fact, ground you. Take your dog to the park. Take, go to the beach. Do something. I just disconnect from, from this chaos that you got going on so that you can connect with yourself internally. All right? This is what I got for you, Libra. I'll see you guys soon.